welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial I'm so excited for. So it's my first Christmas DIY this year. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some farmhouse Christmas decor items and I'm so proud of these. I think especially the Christmas tree because I took a small little Dollar Tree Christmas tree and made it even bigger. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Let me know which is your favorite DIY down in the comments below. I know for some people this might be a little soon for Christmas tutorials. For me, I don't see it that way because you know what, Christmas is only two and a half months away. It's going to be here before we know it. If it's too soon for you, just come back and watch this video when it's not too soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. How about we do it this way? If I can get this video to 5,000 likes, I'm going to say this week, then I'll do another Christmas tutorial. So if you guys want to see another Christmas tutorial, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now let's begin. Let's start with this framed picture. From Dollar Tree, you can pick up any gift bag that you like as long as you like the image so i got this buffalo check bag you'll also want to choose a picture frame i got this wood looking one from dollar tree that has an image of a little girl and a woman really happy to touch a plant they are living their best life yeah, because they're probably getting paid to take that picture anyways. So what you want to do is remove the contents out of your picture frame and then cut your bag up so that it will fit the inside of the picture frame. Make sure you're cutting the part of the bag that you really want to be displayed in the frame because more than likely the entire bag is not going to fit into the picture frame. Once you got your bag cut up, you can go ahead and put it back into the picture frame and then put the contents that you took out back into the picture frame as well. Dollar Tree recently has gotten in these cute little red trucks and I really wanted to incorporate it into DIY somehow. So I took this ornament, took the Merry Christmas part off of it, I just wanted the truck, and then I glued that to the bottom of my image and I think it looks really cute. And that's all I did. You know how sometimes you're in Dollar Tree and you see some of their gift bags and you're like, oh, that's a really pretty image. Now you can frame it and make it into a picture. Go on with your bad self. Okay, now let's move. I don't know, I, I ate too much sugar today. Okay, so let's move on to the next DIY. Now moving on to these owl images that are almost like shadow boxes. From Dollar Tree, you wanna pick up one of their wall art canvases. Make sure that it has a canvas to it and then you want to choose a ribbon that you're going to use as the background image i guess that's what it would be what you're going to do is just take the ribbon and cut it down to fit the inside of the back of that canvas image with how wide my ribbon was i only had to cut out three pieces and then once you got your ribbon all cut out you can then glue it down to the canvas now if you want to use a Christmas pick like I did, I got this one from Dollar Tree, you want to make sure you glue that before you do anything else just so you can make sure that when you put whatever it is that you're using for the border onto the canvas that that isn't just like hovering over it. You want it to be behind whatever it is you put around the canvas, if that makes sense. So what I'm using to create the frame is incense holders from Dollar Tree. I usually find these hanging on like little strips throughout different aisles. So that's where you're gonna wanna look for them and they're real wood. And it's a nice wood that goes well with the red tones of Christmas decor. Place the incense holders around the canvas before gluing them to get an idea of how you want them to be placed. And then once you got that figured out, you can go ahead and glue it. I'm just using my regular glue gun. After I had those holders glued down, I realized that I probably should have put a ribbon over the edges of the inside of the canvas just because it looks better. So that's what I ended up doing. But before you make yours, if you decide to make this, do that before you glue anything else inside of the inside. Now for the fun part, decorating the inside of this. I got this owl ornament from Dollar Tree. I really like this one. It's probably my favorite one out of the owl ones that they have to offer. And I'm just gluing that to the inside of my little box. And then I also added like a pine cone on the right side of this. You can put whatever you like. It doesn't have to be an owl. And then on the top of it, I put this little joy ornament i took the little twine that was on the top of it off just because i didn't want it to be there and then i just go ahead and glue that one down i decided to make another one of these so with that joy ornament there's two more ones that are similar that you can get one that says peace and one that says love i decided to do one with the peace ornament as well so you can make this a set of three if you want to and you don't have to do it with just owls i just like the owls a lot i know every time i say an owl 
people think I'm saying Al. I promise I am not saying Al. So that is it for this project. Now moving on to a throw pillow you can make with a scarf. From Dollar Tree you want to pick up one of their scarves. It just depends on the type of pattern that you want. They have a bunch of them and right now they have lots of ones that have a buffalo check pattern to them. Now take your scarf, make sure that it is folded in half, and decide how long you want your throw pillow to be. Once you have that decided, you can do one of two things. You can sew the scarf together, or you can glue it together. So what I'm doing is I'm using a hot glue gun because your girl doesn't know how to sew, and this is much easier for me to do. I'm sure sewing this together is not hard at all. It's more so time consuming if you don't own a sewing machine and I don't own one. So it's just easier for me to use the hot glue. You can also use fabric glue. It's kind of up to you. Now once I have the glue set down with the length that I want my pillow to be, I go ahead and cut off any excess fabric from the scarf. Obviously, you're going to need something to fill the pillow with and I don't recommend buying a bunch of like cotton balls from Dollar Tree and using that or sometimes they have pillow stuffing at Dollar Tree, but it's a small bag. Don't recommend that. You're going to get more bang for your buck if you go to Walmart and you buy one of their cheap $2.47 pillows or the jumbo one like I got, which is around $3. You can make so many pillows with one of those pillows. And even if you decided to just buy regular pillow stuffing from Walmart from the crafting section, it's not going to cost you $2.40 or $3 for as much as you're going to get from one of those pillows. So I highly recommend going the route of buying a pillow instead of trying to buy the actual fiber on its own. So I go ahead, I take my fiber, I stuff the pillow up, and then when I have it to the size that I want it to be, I then glue the other edge of the pillow so that it is all sealed up. Now it's time to decorate. To do that, I'm using some ornaments from Dollar Tree. The first one I'm using is this little circle ornament, but it's a fabric one. And what I do is I cut it down so that I can take the Merry Christmas part and glue that to the center of my pillow. This is obvious, but I should mention this. If you use a hot glue gun, you're not gonna be able to clean this throw pillow without it falling apart on you. So make sure you keep that in mind. This will definitely be something you have through this season, but if you want to reuse it, you'll have to take very good care of it if you use a hot glue gun like I do. If you sew it, that's a different matter and I'm sure you can wash this and be fine. But it does depend on the type of ornaments you use. The next ornament that I'm using is this snowflake ornament, but there are some hard pieces on the front of it of like a fake pine cone and obviously you don't really want to throw that inside of your washer so if you want your pillow to be something that you can clean inside of the washer and not have to hand clean it um, you don't really want to use anything that's like that just fabric all around now what I'm just doing is I'm gluing two of those snowflake ornaments onto both sides of my throw pillow the final thing I decided to do was take some ribbon from Dollar Tree and just put that on the edges of the top and bottom of this pillow. Not all around, just the top and bottom. And I really like how it ended up looking. It kind of just looks really like country Christmas chic to me for some reason. Like that's what it reminds me of. And again, I use my glue gun to do this. There's other methods you can do so that this is really long lasting. And that's it for this throw pillow. You can make so many of these with one Walmart pillow if you want to, but make sure you keep your eyes open because in another Christmas tutorial coming up soon enough, you're gonna see how I make more throw pillows, but this time it's stupid easy and you'll definitely be able to wash them. Now onto the final DIY, my favorite of them all, the Christmas tree. From Dollar Tree, depends how tall you want this to be, you want to pick up some of their little Christmas trees. Now I'm making this two and a half feet tall, so I just need two of them. They're both 12 inches tall, but I am going to be adding something to the bottom that makes it two and a half feet tall. So the way that you're going to make this into one Christmas tree is by taking your first Christmas tree that's gonna be at the bottom. And you wanna cut off the top of the Christmas tree and take off the yarn that's around it and the branches until you can see the rod that is holding this Christmas tree together. For the top of the Christmas tree, you wanna take again one of those smaller Christmas tree, remove the bottom of it. You're gonna see the rod, but you wanna cut the rod down to get it as close to the bottom branches as possible. And if you're having a hard time just taking a scissor cutting it, which you really 
shouldn't because the rod is not that hard to cut through. You can take pliers and squish the rod together, take scissors, cut it, and then use your pliers to open it up again to reveal the hole. To attach both Christmas trees so that they are one, you want to get some floral wire from Dollar Tree. Now you don't want to use just one of them, you want to use as many as you can so that it fits through the holes of the rod, but it's sturdy so that the Christmas trees don't sway around. So I only took two of them and I just twisted them around till I got something that was sturdy. I then slide that through the bottom Christmas tree, but then I added some hot glue so it doesn't go anywhere. And I put some hot glue at the top of the rod as well that's gonna go through the top Christmas tree. And once they are attached, I put more hot glue where both of those rods meet. I just want to make sure this thing ain't going anywhere. And let me tell you, it doesn't because I was picking this thing up by the top of the Christmas tree and it didn't fall apart at all. Now, you don't have to do this, but I wanted to add a base to the bottom of the Christmas tree. So I got this galvanized bucket from Dollar Tree. I take the Christmas tree and I cut the legs of the Christmas tree down using a scissor, really not that hard to do, until it fits the way that I like it to fit inside of that bucket. Then I go ahead and I add a bunch of rocks that I got at Dollar Tree to the bottom of this. That way this bucket isn't going anywhere. Next up you want to get some of the garland branches from Dollar Tree and you're going to use this to add more fullness to the Christmas tree because a Christmas tree is a very sparse Christmas tree. And all you have to do is just tie the garland around the center rod of the Christmas tree or you can do what I prefer to do, cut the garland in half put some glue on the end of one piece of the garland and then wrap that back piece around the rod and then just put individual branches on like that. And I feel like this really secures those branches in place. The only thing is you do not want to put any ornaments on these attached pieces of garland because they're not as sturdy as the pieces that are directly attached to the Christmas tree. You'll be able to tell the difference though between the two. Now I wanted this tree to look like there was snow on it, so I'm just using white spray paint and lightly spraying white spray paint on the branches so it looks like snow. You can also get fake snow, but I just didn't have any on hand, or you can use regular acrylic paint and a paintbrush and just lightly paint over the branches to get what you like. Now I wanted to add a bunch of pine cones to my Christmas tree. You can get pine cones at Dollar Tree. You can find floral picks that have pine cones and just peel them off. You can find bags of pine cones, but they're pretty big pine cones. So I really suggest going to a different store altogether and buying smaller pine cones that way. But for this video, I did use pine cones that I got from some cotton branches at Dollar Tree. All I'm doing is using my hot glue gun to put some glue on the bottom of these pine cones and then attaching them to the branches. Again, I'm attaching them to the branches that are attached directly to the tree. If I do glue any to the garland that I stuck on that tree, I make sure it's a lighter, smaller pine cone. Now I'm adding these cardinal little picks that I got at Dollar Tree and this will also help make the tree look a little bit fuller. I only ended up using three of them. I decided to add some holly berry to the tree so I got these picks that have bigger holly berries on them. I take those bigger pieces off, glue some to my tree and then I take some of the Dollar Tree holly berries and then I glue that to the tree. Now the final item I'm using is not found at Dollar Tree. It's this ribbon that I got at Michael's. I just thought that it would look really nice on this Christmas tree. Make sure you use a coupon if you decide to get it. And also Walmart carries a cheaper one for $2.97. So all I do is wrap that ribbon around the Christmas tree. I really like the way this looks on the Christmas tree. It's like the cherry on top. So that is it for this first of the year Christmas Dollar Tree DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If we get a 5,000 likes soon, I will do another Christmas DIY video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.